Hello friends, welcome to JavaFX GUI tutorial. In this video, we will see how to handle the button click event using the scene builder UI. So here we will handle the button click event, then add a row dynamically to the table view control. So first we talked about the table view control, then we learned about the example. After that you get introduced to scene builder, then using scene builder we designed the UI. After that we made controller entries by assigning a variable for each of the control. Then we created a person contact class that will supply data for the table view. Then we initialized the table view in the controller using the initialize method and the fxml entries. Now we will handle the event. Here, if you see, we have an add table row. We will see how to add this uh, entry using the scene builder. So, inside the an add table row handler, we will create a new instance of person contact by taking the txt name is the text field dot get text. So, this will return value entered by the user the same way we get h as well as phone number and we supply that to the person contact constructor so this way we have a data row ready the data row is the instance of a person contact class then to our data model we are making call to add so this one we already used in the initialize method. Now we are doing the same stuff whenever user clicks the uh, button. So after the after adding the content to the data row, we are clearing the text fields. Now we will go to the demo and implement the click event handler. So, fxml was already opened here, so I'm uh, closing it and opening it with the scene builder. Let's uh, click on the button. So, the button control is selected. Here, if you see in the code section, we have on action. So here you can directly type the method name and hit enter. Click on save. This will make the fxml entry. Then you can go to view, show sample controller skeleton. So an add table row. That's the entry we added, right? So we can only copy this uh, section keep that in the clipboard then click on the quit now we will open the controller and we will keep half xml entries together here and keeping the entry and this action event is not from awt it is from javafx event so here we will add
here if you see whatever we are doing in the initialize we create a instance then we add it to our uh, data model the same way we are creating the instance this time txt name if you see we are taking that from our fxml entry txt name txt age and txt phone number there are fxml entries right so we are making use of these uh, txt name age and phone number and reading the content for the same reason we created the fx id in the scene builder if you look at so this time i'm opening it in edit mode we created this fx ids right in the ui so using this we created the fxml entry and if you see we are referring the uh, text field here in the event handler so we create person contact instance then we are adding that instance to the data model here is the data model right it's a member that's all now we will build this and run the file Ben Gibson, age 47, phone number. So once you click here, new row will get added and you can see that here. So now we can conclude this uh, table view example demo here in this uh, eight part series you learned how to install scene builder and how to design the ui and how to handle the event and how you can refer the control inside the controller and if you see we don't have any fx id for the button as already discussed and if we don't have any fx id for this label we provided fx id only for the table as well as the text boxes if you look at here in the fxml whatever we want to access in the controller here if you see table column name we are accessing why because we want to make a association with our uh, custom class then we make use of text boxes and that's why we created fx id for these text boxes and of course we need our uh, table why because we need to set the data model at runtime all right so whatever you want to refer in the controller you can create a fx id in the ui so that you will get fx id here in the fxml as well also now we handled the event right let's check that here if you see an entry is added for the handler so button and an action with the ash we specified the handler name and this handler name is available here in the controller right and add table row and add table row all right that's all here in this video thank you for watching bye